All right, guys, what is going on? GT2King here, back today with another video, and we're going to be continuing the Steam Bot series, where basically we make a trading bot from scratch that works with TF2 items. But in this episode, we're actually going to be discussing how you could set up buying and selling stuff with a refined metal, scrap metal, and all of that. So you could basically buy, sell any item for metal. And we're gonna start off by creating a folder or a new file called prices.json, which is gonna be ba our price list. So we're just gonna go ahead and save that. And we'll get to this later on, but now we need to define the prices. So we're just gonna call a new constant. We're gonna call it prices with a capital P. Require prices.json so now it'll just be reading this folder when we call the prices so now since before we had this on new offer if offer was that it accept otherwise it would decline we're just gonna go ahead and remove that because we're gonna create a new function called function process offer which will basically just check out the offer and yeah so we're gonna start off by calling this is actually a new command and it's basically checking if the offer is glitched or the items are unavailable and i got this code from someone on github that i'll be sure to link in the description below but it was all in spanish so i just had to translate it and it's just basically the same code and now if the offer is glitched or which is these two lines right here or if the offer state is equal to 11, we should, yeah. If offer state, oh, whoops, there we go. We have to put a, this in quotes. So it's basically saying if the offer is glitched or it's in the 11th state, which is items unavailable for trade, I believe, we're going to just write console.log um, offer was glitched declining now we could we just put our semicolon and now we have to do decline offer which was our function to decline the offer so we're just gonna do that and now here which is the quote for this so here we're gonna type else if offer dot partner it dot get steam ID 64 which is this is the owner code that we did before is equal to config dot owner ID um, offer dot accept um, yeah we'll just do it that way no we just I'm bad. we have to call the function accept offer which basically does it for us offer and my hands getting kind of tired because my keyboard is set up pretty badly so we'll just move that there and then we're going to be continuing by starting with the code for the bot so we're going to do else so if it's neither of these two it's going to be checking for the prices so else we're this is going to be a bit complicated so just bear with me i'll try and explain everything so we're going to call a variable our items which is equal to offer the items to give which is the items we're giving in the offer no it's just that we're gonna call their items which is offer the items to receive so the items we're gonna be getting we're gonna be calling var our value which is gonna be default set to zero and var their value which is gonna be set to zero as well so now this is gonna get a bit more trickier we're gonna do for variable i which is just a random variable to call it in our items so when this variable is called we want to var item uh, call a new variable which defines our items the array of items that we're going to have in our prices dot their market name which is the name that we're going to be using for the prices.json which I'll explain later on when we set that up and now we're gonna do if prices which is the prices.json that we defined at the top 
if the items and prices dot JSON once okay we're just calling that if we're now we're gonna say if that is true our okay my bad so it's if item because variable item is our items dot market name if prices dot our item let me just tab there our value which is the our value that we're giving is greater than or equal to or plus or equal to prices dot item dot sell which is the price that we're going to be selling for so this is a bit complicated right now because we haven't created the prices dot json but this is the way we're going to be doing it so that's that now we could call the else is this the right i think this is the right else no where's the if oh there we go else console.log invalid value we're just gonna call that well yeah we'll just say invalid value and our value is just put a huge number which is basically telling it that unless they're overpaying by this amount and the item is not I don't know but if the item that we're giving or the item that they want is not the same value and it's like unless it's overpaid by this much then we'll just decline so that's probably yeah just set it to a really high number to avoid any like scam attempts from your price list and now what we want to do is after this quote right here or this quote whoops what did I do we want to do for var i in their items we want to basically just do the same thing but for buy orders so we're going to type var item equals their items i dot market name which is the items market name if prices item let me check okay so we're just gonna check if the value is the same their value is plus is greater than or equal to prices item dot buy which is the buy price that we're gonna sell later on we're just gonna whoops what did we do okay so if their item is equal to value dot buy we're just going to skip that and click do else console dot log their value was different okay so now what we're going to do is basically so right under here we'll just call their value and our value so you can see the difference in our console our value is equal to we should just yeah we'll use that and let's put a space there plus our value console.log their value we should put a space as well whoops plus their value so it's we're just defining our value and their value and now we're gonna just call a random statement or a common math actually so we're gonna say if our value is less than or equal to their value we want to accept offer which offer the offer that we defined and put a semicolon there else decline offer offer because it's not the same it's not the value that we're asking so that's basically it it was quite a bit and it's really complicated actually but I think we're good the quotes or the syntax is perfect so now what we want to do is just save that and in the prices dot JSON we want to set up the basic JSON so just that and this is the item market name so we're just gonna start off with scrap metal we want to 
buy it. Whoops. Okay. So scrap metal is buy price. So we're just going to define buy is one scrap and put a comma and it's sell price is one scrap. This is just defining the currencies. We're, we're going to put a comma after that as well. And now what we can do is just make these four reclaimed and refined. So this is the buy price is nine, nine, three, three. Okay, so now we could just do a random item if we wanted to. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our backpack and we're gonna do a specific item that we have in both bots, which is the objector. I don't know, I can't type this name, so we're just going to copy and paste that and we'll create a new the let's just paste that name in. Whoops, what am I doing? Okay. So now what we want to do is open up new quotes, buy for, I don't know, let's say we'll buy it for five scrap and we'll sell it for six. And since is this, since this is the last quote, we just need to put a quote there. Oh no, we don't need to. So this is perfect syntax as well. We'll just put that back there so this matches. So this is our price list at the moment. I'll just have this in the description as well so you could copy and paste and adjust it to your liking. We're gonna go ahead and save and run the bot. Okay, unexpected token else, JS84. Hmm. Else, let me check why it's doing that. For var in their items, if price is item, Oh, that's why the else goes in the quote above it, not in this one. So just like that, I think, because it's else if statements. There we go. So let's just fix this syntax a bit. There we go. And should be good. Successfully logged on. So we're going to go ahead and send an offer to our bot, which is just this bot. I have it set to donation bot because that's the bot that runs on this account. And we'll send an objector for their one of their objectors as well. So we're gonna click make offer, go ahead and confirm it, which it should automatically just confirm it in a bit. Okay, so it confirmed it, and let's see what the console logs. Wait, did it confirm it? Yeah, it did. There we go. So now, okay, it's a 12 minute video so far, so hopefully this works so we don't have to fix anything. And we're just gonna wait for the bot to process. Oh, I'm dumb. So now we forgot to do one thing on manager new offer. So whenever we get a new offer, we have to call it the function process offer offer. So whoops, just put a qu there we go. Now it should work. So we're gonna restart the bot, run bot, and see what happens. So it should just check the offer that we it sent it that we sent. So Okay, so our value is six, their value is zero. I don't think it's getting the right value. So what's going wrong? It's not getting their value correctly. So price is the item dot buy. I mean, it's correct for I in their items. It's basically the same code. So this is really weird actually. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to pause the video and come back with a solution. Okay, so I believe I've found out what it is and this is actually pretty funny. I spelled items to receive wrong. So I think that was the issue. We're gonna test it. I think that was it. So yeah, just common spelling from the functions or the items can really mess it up so because you're it doesn't understand what you're trying to do so hopefully now that when we send the offer it'll show you guys that let me just confirm it there we go so now that we confirmed it there we go so now it says our value was six because the bot has the same item but it's selling it for six scrap and we're offering a five scrap item because that's what the price the bot buys it for. 
So now if we, let's say, offer it the objector plus one scrap, so we're basically giving the objector and one scrap for their objector, they're gonna accept it because it's equal to the buy price. So if that makes any sense, I know this math could be a bit confusing, but I'll have all of this code in the description. So as you can see, it said we accepted an offer. It's gonna check for confirmations now. So as you can see, we, the item came through and that's basically how the bot works. In the next tutorial, I don't know what to cover, maybe crafting scrap and metal in TF2, but we'll have to see. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry if this was a bit confusing, but I'll try and answer any questions in the comments below. So if you have any, make sure to let me know. And yeah, that was it for today's video, guys, and peace.